Welcome back to Ride JBI. This is JB. This is episode two of our Kawasaki KX450 Showa Fork Build. I purchased these forks about two months ago, and they are going to be used in-house at Ride JBI as our R&D and continuous improvement forks. So with this suspension, we're going to use it to test and try um, new settings and see how we can improve on our current Showa 49 millimeter twin chamber spring fork settings. In the first video, the forks were all still together. And as you can see now, the forks have been disassembled. So, so far the outer fork tubes have been sent off. Those are beginning some anodized treatment to the outer tubes. The lower lugs have also been removed. Those have been sent off as well to be Cerakoted. Um, we're going to keep these top caps green because, well, Kawasaki's are green and I like the color. Uh, we haven't done any valving work to it yet. Um, we're going to install our JBI Suspension Pro Fork Kit. Um, we have a specific Showa kit for these Showa 49 millimeter forks. Details on that kit <clears throat> can be found at ridejbi.com. Um, we offer that kit as a JBI Suspension Revalve meaning you send in your forks to us and we will build them to that spec. And we also offer that same kit as a DIY kit, meaning do it yourself install. You get the same hardware and you get the same custom specs you would because I custom build those DIY kits per order. Um, anyhow, as you can see, we don't have our red sub valve, this piece yet installed. So this is still the stock configuration on these compression assemblies. Um, we'll modify and revalve those in another video. The cartridges have been mostly disassembled. You can see that the upper cartridge tank, the piece that's normally up here, um, that is typically silver. Um, that piece has been removed and we sent that off to be anodized as well. Here are our mid valve assemblies. Um, again, these are all stock. They haven't been modified yet. Um, we'll modify these to our JBI spec. Part of that is changing the mid-valve part to a leaf spring style mid-valve. Um, again, complete details on ridejbi.com of exactly what the leaf spring mid-valve is, what it looks like, how it works, and why we use it. Um, <clears throat> so what else? We talked about the outer tubes have been sent off, the lower lugs have been sent off, the upper cartridge tanks have been sent off. Um, so all those have gone to different facilities for their various coatings. Um, oh, so for these forks, we're going to use our JBI Pro Perch 3.0. Um, that is going to be the newest, latest version of our JBI Pro Perch 3.0. Um, the Pro Perch fits to our cartridge, just below our cartridge circlip. Um, that's what keeps our spring seats in place. So the new JBI Pro Perch will fit just below in here. Um, where the OEM spring seat normally sits and um, we have details on that coming out soon We have half of the production of the new JBI Pro Perch 3.0 already made and we're waiting on the other half to finish production And then we will soon be able to release and share with everybody the JBI Pro Perch 3.0 So right now, it's just a hurry up and wait um, as the various parts of these forks are being coated and treated at the various coating facilities. Uh, we're going to keep the lower tubes black. They already come that way from Kawasaki. Um, part of me wanted to do like a rainbow, but I was like, you know what? The tubes are already coated. Let's not just frivolously spend money <laughs> on coatings. So for this theme, I think most of our colors will be black, some of this Kashima brown and a little bit of green it should be most of the colors for this fork build. And then more importantly, besides the aesthetics, we'll be going into details on our pro fork kit that we'll install in this in the next video. And then again, also the JBI pro perch 3.0, which will be coming out with this as well. Um, oh, and the fork springs are off being REM super finished. So those are being polished to a very nice finish. The stock Showa fork springs are good, but they feature a little bit of a rough finish 
on the spring wire. So when we have the opportunity and when we can, we like to get those springs REM super finished. What that is is a very high level of polishing um, the metal surface without really removing any uh, material. What that does is allows the forks to operate a little bit quieter than they normally would. And more importantly, it keeps the oil a lot cleaner because when a spring is rough, um, well, any all springs are going to rub on the inside of your fork tube right here. So when the spring is rough, um, it's going to get polished right where it rubs on the inside of the fork tube. And that's going to create some debris and contaminants for the oil. But when you put in polished springs, you get a lot less contaminant and debris in the oil while from the spring rubbing on the inside of the fork tube. So that is the main reason for us polishing springs is to improve how long our oil lasts before getting dirty. And then secondarily, yes, the spring does slide a little bit easier um, inside the fork tube as well. And we'll happily take that improvement and performance also. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. All JBI suspension services and parts can be found at ridejbi.com.